Welcome to Delivery Optimization Overview Video. I am Saurav Sarkar and I am a Product Manager in the Intune for Education product group. We live in a world where we can access video, download apps and updates anywhere with an internet connection. Each day, each of our devices download hundreds of megabytes to gigabytes or even terabytes of data. Many of us have access to high-speed internet at work, at home, and even at our local cafes. Increased reliance on cloud has found its way into the managed network world as well, allowing organizations to reduce server infrastructure at remote sites and focus on providing high-speed reliable internet. In a managed network, we aren't just worrying about one device anymore. We are typically worrying about lots of devices connecting to the internet from different work location with varying speed and reliability. All that convenience of downloading data from the internet can start to have an impact on how quickly and reliably each of those devices can download content. So wouldn't it be great if they could share that content? Well, lucky for you, Microsoft has developed a technology in Windows called Delivery Optimization that does just that. Delivery Optimization is a platform that includes a combination of cloud and client-side components. The goal of Delivery Optimization is to optimize the download of content so that it can be downloaded reliably and also utilize local sources where possible to reduce internet bandwidth consumption. A key feature of delivery optimization is the capability to download contents from other delivery optimization clients that have recently downloaded the same content. Microsoft Connected Cache is a feature of delivery optimization that allows you to have a dedicated software cache available on your private network for clients to download content from alongside peers. Microsoft Connected Cache is available as a feature in Config Manager or in Preview as a standalone solution. You can find links to both in the video description. Let's talk about how delivery optimization works, starting with content publishing. For content to become available in delivery optimization service, the content needs to be processed. As usual, the content is published on the content delivery network. After that, it is sent for processing to create delivery optimization metadata. This metadata helps guarantee that content has not been tampered with and helps determine which content is available within the peer network. Once the metadata is created, it is stored in delivery optimization catalog and made available to delivery optimization clients. Next, we will cover how a client takes advantage of delivery optimization during download. When the client is instructed to download content, like in this example, the client reaches out to the delivery optimization service to find out if it's available on any peers. In this case, the delivery optimization service responds to tell the client it's available on three local peers alongside the content delivery network. The client then uses this information to download parts of the file from the content delivery network and the three peers. You'll notice that while local sources are used, some content still comes from the content delivery network. This is determined based on peer availability and download speed to optimize bandwidth and reliability. After the content is downloaded, the client keeps the delivery optimization service informed about whether the content is still available in the cache and what its current IP address is. The information is used to deliver optimal download configuration to the other clients requesting the same data with matching configuration. Delivery optimization supports many Microsoft content sources including Windows Update, Store Apps, Intune Win32 Apps, and Microsoft 365 Apps Install and Update. For a full list of supported content, check out aka.ms slash delivery optimization. Delivery optimization has a set of default configuration that can be overwritten depending upon your organizational needs. 
we'll cover some of these configurations and the other options in more details in other videos. Devices are configured using the default LAN peering mode, meaning devices with the same external IP addresses are considered in the same peering group. Peers are identified using external IP addresses. Those in the same subnet will be prioritized to help ensure the closest peer are chosen but will not be restricted to do so by default. Devices will only try and source content from other peer devices if the requested content is over 50 megs. Contents will be downloaded in parallel from HTTP sources and up to 20 peers. Devices must cache content for it to be available to other peers. By default, the content is cached for up to three days and can consume up to 20% of available disk space. Devices will only share content with other devices with more than four gigs of RAM. In the next module, we'll cover the different download modes and peer selections. You can find links to some of our resources in the video description, but make sure you subscribe to our channel for future videos on delivery optimization and managing devices with Intune.